Here we go. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you. And I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. Yeah, I can be a fighter. I can be a fighter. Good morning, we're off to Disney's Animal Kingdom today. Expedition Everest and Pandora, here we come. Morning. morning. We've got our, I've got my Miko t-shirt on today from Magical Day Apparel. And I'm representing Hawaii with Mickey today. <laughs> <laughs> so we're heading to Animal Kingdom. Um, super excited to ride Flight of Passage. But yeah. I'm also really excited about Dinosaur because we didn't get to do that on the last trip because it was down. Yeah. And I do love Dinosaur. And we just having a bit of a debate how many times we're going to do Expedition Everest today. Only once for me. Once for it. <laughs> but let's go. go. Time to go. Is it going to be humid? He expects it to walk out and everything up. Let's go. It's beautiful. Look at it. Such a lovely resort. Are we getting the Skyliner this morning? No. We can't get the Skyliner to Animal Kingdom. So we're not getting the bus either. We are going to drive because it's seven minutes drive. So let's go get our car and um, excited for today. And we've got Yak and Yeti for lunch. Fast passes for Flight of Passage. I'm trying to remember what I had last time at Yak and Yeti, but it was so nice. I'm hoping that that sort of stands out on the menu this time and it's still there. Yeah, the car park's really empty this morning. We do think a lot of people park here from the rest of the resort because it's close to the Skyliner. So it can be a bit tricky later in the day. Yeah is saying seven minutes and so far we are on track for seven minutes which is good um, we're going to get in the left lane because we're going to animal kingdom this reminds us of our last trip when we were staying at animal kingdom lodge and we had to keep getting in the left lane to get um, over so we're going to go and all the buses are going off to their various parks animal kingdom so yeah we'll see what the traffic situation is like i'm hoping it won't be too much of a queue to get in okay so there may be a little bit of a line to get in this morning <laughs> animal kingdom be busy so we're gonna find a lane and we're gonna park in it <laughs> so uh, there we go plenty of time for pictures though of the entrance yeah it's 25 dollars a huge thank you from the cast member because she was like thank you you guys can go thank you for having your id and annual pass ready so literally just held it out the window with the id and she's like yep <laughs> we're good <laughs> yeah. not the first time so uh, uh, yeah really really quick and um, just a reminder that if you pay for parking if you do have to pay for parking um, in the parks you can go to all four parks on one day just keep your receipt because we overheard the lady telling every car in front before it's how you guys yeah so just a reminder that you only ever pay for parking once just keep your receipt if you're park hopping for the day that Let's get parking conundrum where you're like <laughs> how far down the end we've just seen them starting a new row and all the cars are apprehensive like no don't send don't us send all us the down way down there, there. <laughs> so um We've got a few cars in front, so we're definitely not going to be the furthest down. But we're, we're going to, <laughs> but we're not going to be <laughs> as close as we would like to be. <laughs> and there's a tram! Yay! Beep beep. <laughs> we got parks. Yeah. Uh, so we're not too bad. We're not too bad, but we need to pay attention to where we are. Yeah. Always normally, a note of where you had a note in our uh, phones of where we're parked. So yesterday. We're definitely going to be in Dinosaur, yeah. 32 to 40. Because in the excitement of arriving at a distant park, you can't forget those things. Yeah, so let's find out. It's a lovely temperature right now. I think it's like 70 degrees. It's quite grey, but it's, it's grey. still warm enough to be in shorts and t-shirt by quite far. <laughs> but there is rain forecast today from like midday. Midday-ish, yeah. We've got our rain jackets, um, GoPro. Yeah. So we're prepared. We are. Running for the tram. Trying to get in before that last beep. Sit back, relax, driver. We are clear for dispatch. We're gonna drive faster. We're gonna drive faster. Point safety. Remain seated with the doors closed. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving. Let's drive one more time. Who's happy to be here? Let's shake the shop and make some noise. Here we go. Security lines are not too bad for the Christmas tree. And there's the Animal Kingdom Christmas tree. 
and it's got like Lion King on it. I don't know if it'll come out very well, but it's really cute. Just there, you can see Rich emerging from the crowds. Here he comes. I did offer to do the bag check, he wanted to do it. Number one tip, number one tip, when you're going through bag check, have all your bag open ready. You're nice and quick. We're here, Animal Kingdom. 7.55. Time Stop. check. Yeah, it's open. There is a pass on the line. It's not normally the case at Animal Kingdom. You can go straight if you want. It looks pretty quiet here. Yeah, that's pretty quiet. Let's just go straight for the main bit. Yeah. You've arrived during a very special time, for the magic of the holidays has awakened. Join us on an extraordinary journey. Are you ready for the reveal? Time for the tree of life. The tree of life. It's always bigger than I remember it. <laughs> it's, I think it's, it feels like it grows every every time I see it. I love the Christmassy decorations as well. Yeah. If you're on the photo pass, this is an amazing photo up here. You get right up close to the tree. I love that Lion King display there. Yeah. Simba, Timon, and Pumba. Tree of Life Instagram wall. <laughs> that is cool. I love it. It's so colourful. There's this cute wall here. It's so sweet. Such a good photo spot. We're entering the transition oh, music period. Yeah. It looks like they touched up the paint on there. I don't know if it's just the lighting right now, but it looks a lot more prominent than the purple. Yeah, it looks much more prominent, yeah. All those noises. And at night, all the floor lights up. It's really cool. So you've got to come to Pandora at night. Also, be careful of this thing. It splurts water. <laughs> Get your fast pass to flight pass if you can, and then get on here. Let's go! I always think these are going like, to start moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you ready to see the shaman? The shaman? Shaman. So I took a picture of the description of this ride. Journey down a gentle river through the bioluminescent rainforest as you search for the Na'vi, <laughs> Shaman of Songs. There was no way you were going to remember that. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very gentle... No drop, ride. no drop. It could do with a little drop. Luke says that every time, but yeah, it could do with maybe just a little drop. It's got a cute key line though, so let's go in. Auditioning for Disney. Um, that's Bail. Amazing. And I just want to show you this is the best view here. Coming out of Navi. So nice. But that was pretty much walk on. We were on within five minutes. Five minutes, Matt. Rain has kind of started already. It's just like little light drizzle. But we think we'll stay on the normal camera for now and then we'll switch when we have to. The line for flight passage is 150 minutes and stretches past Starbucks. 
back that way. Literally, like right next to us right now, it's so long. We have got a fast pass for Dinosaur, but it's only posting 10 minutes. I think we're gonna go to Dinosaur and then try and modify our fast pass to see what else is available. Yeah. Which is something we've been doing quite a bit this trip, is if the queue lines are short, modify your fast pass. It is working though, isn't it? Yeah. So let's go. Dino Land, USA. Home of Dinosaur. I mean, we're just saying that we didn't manage to do Dinosaur on our last trip, did we? down for technical so we kind of feel like we missed out so this is why we're so determined so to do determined. it <laughs> it's posting 10 minutes um it's an indoor queue it's raining so we figure even though we've got a fast pass for later for it let's just do it yeah i just want to point out luke's t-shirt because miko i love it <laughs> Heading into a very festive i love they put a, a father christmas on <laughs> the dinosaur <laughs> i love that uh, oh, we've got to point this out. Double chocolate, peppermint, ice cream sandwich, a Dino Bite snacks. That looks so Dinosaur. good. Oh, I love this ride. Oh, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Let's go. This experience includes dark places and scary dinosaurs. So if Sky dinosaurs aren't your thing or dark places, probably avoid them. Wait, stand by. Yeah. members want to be in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Here we go. Senders this morning. Oh, they're in such good spirit. I love it. Yeah. Now for the deep reveal. I love it. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Wow. Always amazed by this. I love that you can learn in here at the same time. Carnosaurus. Carnosaurus. Have you learned today? The Dino Institute. Ever walk the earth? In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon. Then, I'll enlarge the transport field and boom! You're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? We had just a road to ourselves. We had like we had a road to ourselves, didn't we? Yeah. We're not gonna make it. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely cast member. The 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 yeah. yeah. We're not gonna make it, but we made it. So it's a lovely cast member last ride twice. Oh, I love there that. was no line. They were like, do you guys want to go again? We were like, because <laughs> the first time we didn't really get the photos, so it no. comes through. Yes. It was so good. I just love that ride. It's such a classic. But towards the end, I can't remember what dinosaur it is right at the end. I can't look, I have to close my eyes because it's that screeching noise. It screeches right towards the end. Yeah. But we managed to recognise where the picture is towards the end. Yes. Just after they do the bit where they lost the traction, um, you can do it. So we did a little pose. <laughs> and now we're going through a gift shop. Gotta point out the Santosaurus. <laughs> How cute is that? We're in a bit of a like why not mood right now. So we're gonna do the triceratops spin. I feel like it's been a while since we've done it. Triceratops number eight, and coincidentally, number eight's right there. It's right there. How convenient is that? <laughs> convenient. It's gonna be wild. This ride is going to be wild. I've been nominated as the Triceratops driver today, so the responsibility is all on me. I, I forgot to press record. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we're going all the way up. <laughs> I'm gonna tilt on you, ready? So Luke is, Luke's got the tilting responsibility and I've got the up and down. How are you feeling back there? I'm going up and down. No, I'm going up and down. We came to party all night long And we don't need no chaperone We don't need nobody's attention Yeah, we just wanna dance on our own Party all night long and sing along to every song. We don't need nobody. Whoa, boy! How was that for a spin? Now, please stay 
I feel like we haven't done Primeval well in a very long time. We are hitting up the Dinoland USA rides today, aren't we? We are, yeah. The last time we did this, we both felt really ill, so we haven't done it for a few years. Let's give it a go. Uh-oh. I even forgot there's like mirrors in this queue. It's been a while. <laughs> And all the lights. Oh wow, it's been so long since we've done this. Long time, nervous? Here we go. Come on, Excited? We're ready for the spin. I'm not ready for the spin. Here we go. Oh, I'm regretting this now. <laughs> I think this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. <laughs> oh no. This doesn't help, this swirling. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, ready? Oh. <laughs> Here we go. The end is near. Here we go, we're gonna go down the hill now. Ready? It's a big hill now. Ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's quite jolty. It is quite jolty. Oh, oh it's spinning now. Okay, it's getting out of the spinning. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> Do you remember why you don't like this one now? <laughs> Oh, I've got a crazy. <laughs> I it's stupidly a... looked in the screen when we were spinning on the camera and I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> it was um, about a 10 minute wait in the end, I think. Yeah. Not too bad though. But yeah. Oh, it's been a long time. I don't know how long more this ride's going to be here. I feel like this area's going to be developed soon. For a toast. Fast pass, pass four. Fly past it. Oh, yeah, so we're heading back to Pandora now so you get the fast pass. I feel like your mum, nan, and granddad should be here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The current wait time for Avatar is 210 minutes. Oh, wow. That is long. We're in the fast pass line. The drums are going. Yeah, we're kind of thinking that maybe we might be in here for like at least 30 minutes in the fast pass line just based on the standby line. Yeah, fast pass is like a percentage of the queue line. Sometimes you score lucky. Yeah. When the main line's almost four hours, you're looking at potentially 45 minutes. 45 minutes. We'll see, yeah. we'll let you guys know it. So how long it takes. Down on lane number four. Is that it? Which door? Nine and ten and see one, you're gonna be alone. Nine and ten. I don't think we've been in this one before. Nine and ten. Engage the airlock. Okay, Dr. Stevens, they're ready. Can everyone see me? Yes. Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron. Okay, start scan. Uh, you've all got them. You'll be able to control that Avatar. 
Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads our science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees and their environment. <laughs> You've all been matched with Avatar. Good ride. Love that ride. Yeah. We've gone through in half an hour from start to finish. That included the ride. That's well, not bad. That is not bad. I'd say I feel a bit sick this time. Yeah, motion sickness has kicked in. So I do say, if you suffer from motion sickness and sort of like a little bit of a little dip from the ride, then probably not for you. I think it's where you're sat. Because oh, sometimes I get zero motion sickness. And this time we went somewhere we hadn't normally sat. I just feel a little bit sick. Yeah, I feel a bit bad this time. I think it's time for a night gloss. Yes. Always got to go in the gift shop. Well, you've got really no choice, empty. actually. It's really empty, isn't it? It is really empty. Considering the queue out there is like 210 minutes. Oh, that's cool. 10 year anniversary. Oh, has it been 10 years? Wow. How much is this? Is there a price on it? 24.99. <laughs> Everywhere. What's, uh, what's, what's, what's going on, Wendis? I lied. <laughs> yes, you did. Alright, uh, I've got a spare You're going to have to forgive my colleague here. He is clearly a little stressed out. Uh, like I said, this is a... Night Blossom. Night Blossom. Anyone can do this. You are set. Hot Rod Pan. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's time for Night Blossom. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Little balls in there. This is yeah. totally, totally disguised. One of our faves in Pandora. This is still it's a little bit noisy because they've got the uh, robot out. Robot. What's it called? I can't remember what it's called. It's not a robot. It looks like a robot. Here we go. How good does that taste? The pear. It's the pear that I love in there. It's so good. Yeah. Another little ball. Another little uh, balls. It's definitely the pear that's um, the flavour that comes through. So we've had a really good morning so far. We've done so much actually. We got in just before I did you five minutes before park opening. We did Navi walk on. We did dinosaur like practically walk on, but got to do it twice because there was no line <laughs> afterwards. We did Triceratops spin. We did Primeval, Primeval World. Yeah, yeah and we've just got done, the name then. Just done Flight of Passage, and then we've got our fast pass for Expedition Everest. Just finishing up our night blossom right now. Yeah, and actually, we, we managed to move our Expedition Everest fast pass around. So you can move things around and cancel. Yeah, and then we've got lunch at Yak and Yeti. And I'm currently just flicking through the menu on the My Disney Experience app because I couldn't remember what I had last time and I really liked it. Yeah, so just always move the fast passes around. If a ride isn't busy, queue for it and then move the fast pass something later. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and uh, we've enjoyed our drink. So good. So good. We get a good view of this. Um, if you know what this is called, can you comment below? Because we um, don't know what it's called. No, I don't know. It's cool. It's cool. So we've just found this snack for after Yak and Yeti. Simba Sunset. How good does that look? Dull whipped pineapple with watermelon, strawberry, and coconut flavored syrup. I think we'll be good. We did actually see someone walking past that. We're at the Harambe Market and we had to come and see Mickey. Yeah, all the food, all the food pots in here, it's really cool. The glasses are on, the sun is coming out. We were giving it to rain, but the weather's getting better. It's getting better. It's getting warmer as well, much warmer. Animal Kingdom is always pretty hot. Yeah. And we've seen some awesome snacks along route as well, so I know we just saw the ice cream back there, but... Oh, I don't know. We're going to Expedition Everest now for our fast pass, so... I'm excited for this one. Yeah. So we're heading into the fast pass queue for Expedition Everest. Currently posting a 70 minute standby. 
Let's see how the chocolate is all come in. Thank you. Row number one, extra celebrities. Secure block here in the cargo bag. Attention, expedition. Front here we go, front row, Thank nobody you, else here. <laughs> <laughs> it really feels like we're on the track. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Get some good views. Front row is great. When you go the backwards bit, obviously you're the back of it, so you get a real G feel. So yeah, it's good though. Let's go have some lunch now. Let's go get some lunch. We are heading into Yakineti restaurant right now. Me and Luke have already had a look at the app, the My Disney Experience app, and had a look to see what we want. So we'll show you that shortly. But there's also a menu outside. We can have a look. They do like noodles, uh, salads, ribs. Um, and soups, all good food. Also, just to mention as well, um, one of our earliest videos we did was the Landry's card. Um, the Landry's card gets you priority seating, which is a card that we've actually got and it's worked very well today. There's quite a big queue. Um, we've managed to bring our reservation that was for 12.15 forward to now and the Landry's card gets us priority seating. So we've managed to jump the line with that card as well, which is awesome. So check that video out as well. Heading in to Yakineti. The theming in here is great. So we're going to go upstairs today. Sitting in that good old balcony area. Look at this view. Wow. <laughs> People watching this spot. Oh, we'll stay here for a while. We can see Kevin is pulling in the crowds right now. <laughs> so funny. Just watching Kevin really keeping everyone up at the moment. Yeah. Good, right. You've got the chicken. Honey chicken looks so With brown rice, you can get it with jasmine rice, or you can upgrade to the chicken fried rice. Yeah. <laughs> and I've gone for the vegetable lo mein, which looks so good. And some rice. Fortune cookies. We're going to see what we get for dinner. How was your food? So good. The honey chicken is amazing. You'll see what your uh, cookie says. Here we go. Oh, what is the fortune going to say? Says. Mediocrity is self inflicted, genius is self bestowed. Lucky numbers 54, 39, 15, 25, 34, 9. Better pay the lock? Okay, where are we, Luke? I think it's called Goodies. Goodies? Goodies. Goodies. <laughs> so we're heading for the Simba Sunset. So we are at Good Eats, getting the Simba Sunset. They also do the Simba Ice Cream Cookie Sandwich, which looks good as well. Which is right by Tusker House. Simba Sunset. We got the Simba Sunset from Africa in Animal Kingdom. Oh, I can what smell it? it. Watermelon. I'm going to get the description right now. So Dole it Whip. is... Pineapple. Watermelon, strawberry. Dole Whip pineapple walk with watermelon, strawberry and coconut flavoured syrup. There you go. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, here you go. He's going to try his Dole Whip. 
How good does that look? That's going on that white shirt. How good is that? Yeah? I got a lot of the red there as well. It's so good. And the music's perfect. Yes. The pineapple is the strongest. Isn't it? Yeah. Coconut, it's a little bit of coconut, which is perfect. Happy, aren't you? So good, so refreshing. So nice. So we've um, had our lunch. We're now heading back to the hotel to chill for a bit. So all the birds are out. Look at all the festive animals out. Oh, I love it. That's cool, I like that. It's on the Dole Whip. For me, it just tastes like a pineapple Dole Whip. The pineapple is very overpowering. So, so it's, it's, it looks very nice. but it's, it, tastes, it tastes good, but some of the flavours aren't coming through. So it's very refreshing. Yeah, it's good. He was just saying he hasn't been to a shop yet, a gift shop. So we're going we're gonna to correct that. Yeah. So we're just in the gift shop, just the by the exit. Stuff, like We've got, got a Mickey right here as well. Traveller Mickey. Over here, look. Mickey mug. This is quite a big mug. That is quite a big mug. Water bottle as well. And some more glasses. All oh, the 2020 merch. So we've got some hoodies, some t-shirts. There's a hoodie there. Got some ears. More hoodies. So we may have had a Bath and Body Works delivery. <laughs> so we ordered this to the resort before we came. Um, it's perfect to get online offers because you get so many good deals online. And the hotel will just collect it. You put guest and the date you're arriving on your delivery information. And then it comes and then you can see what you get. So let's see what, here's the order. A pretty restrained order, I would say from most things. I would agree, <laughs> it's been worse. <laughs> so some really nice hand soaps here. Firstly, this Comfort is an amazing scent and it's a lovely bath um, foam, bath wash. We've got some hand soaps, which are mainly the Christmas ones that were on offer. It's got Merry Cookie and it's got the lemon buttercream. So most of these will be kept for next Christmas. Um, there's a hand cream there that's really, really good. Um, Rich wanted that one, didn't you? I picked that one, yeah. <laughs> Then we've got some really nice candles. So we've got the New York Cherry Cheesecake. We've got Land of Sweets, which is blueberry sugar. The Comfort, which is the same scent as the bath foam. It's just such a nice scent. London Tea and Biscuits. You yeah. guys, um, a lot of you guys <laughs> let us know about this candle. So we can't wait to try this. And Caramel Drizzle. Rich and I have just been talking about Rich's empty bottle issue. No, I don't have an empty bottle issue. Okay, three. <laughs> Rich opens a bottle of water and there's like one, two, three, and there's one more up there. It's terrible. Are they all your bottles of water? I think they might be. <laughs> there you go. Back out again. Oh, it's nice and warm. So we just had, what was that, like four hours chilly? Yeah. It's been raining quite a lot actually. Yeah, oh, yeah, I can see a lot of um, puddles. Yes, we missed the rain. It must have been quite heavy actually. Look at yeah. the puddles. <gasps> yeah, we missed the rain. A little bit humid as you can see, but it's in the 70s and it feels so nice and warm. I'm just waiting for the camera to steam up. It's slowly thinking about it. For a wonderful rest. Um, I had a lovely, Rich went and got me <laughs> a lovely Joffrey's <laughs> vanilla, <laughs> vanilla iced latte. I make a joke out of it, I say, uh, uh, delivery from Joffrey's. Yeah. <laughs> you offered, I, I, I did know, say I did we walk right, over yeah. there and Rich was like, I'll go, because I had to back up all the art. I was backing up all the footage. Um, which we do, so what we do is our memory cards go back and I stick it in the laptop and transfer it to an external drive a couple of times a day um, just so I know there's a car coming. Um, oh dear. So we are now heading to... We're heading to Trails End. At Disney's Fort Wilderness. I always want to say Wilderness Lodge whenever we say we're going there. <laughs> which is a big barbecue meal, so it's five to five. Um, my reservation's in one hour, but we've allowed lots of time because you, as you'll see, have to drive there park up then get an internal bus 
to the bit where trails ended and we like to have an explore yeah. have a look around so we went there was it last september yeah so we went there one year ago yeah so we had two options to get there the first option was to get the bus to magic kingdom and then get the boat to fort wilderness or drive we decided to drive because the disney transport is pretty busy this time of year yeah if it wasn't december and christmas i think we would have probably got the bus to magic kingdom yeah so let's get in the car there's our favorite transportation method there the skyliner which i wish we were going on now i thought it was studio just down earlier today oh that's not i good. think it's i think it's back open now though yeah, yeah i hope so and you can turn right on a red in america as long as there's no sign telling you not to and then we're going to go into the left lane so the trip over to Fort Wilderness is about 13 minutes it's showing on Google Maps. So not too bad at all. But a pretty easy drive. We always kind of look on the map how it's going to be, but it, it seems looks quite straightforward. Straightforward, yeah. Yeah, once you get past the kind of Magic Kingdom traffic and stuff, it's quite a long road round to Fort Wilderness. We actually went there last in September 2018. Was it that long ago? It was, yeah, I looked it up because I wanted to remember what we had. <laughs> <laughs> so very excited and um, we also managed to get a fast pass later for Rock and Roller Coaster at Hollywood Studios. Luke is desperate to ride it. I'm desperate. We didn't do it in September and I'm like come on come on this trip 100% we're doing Rock and Roller Coaster. So we've got one for later so if we feel up to it obviously we're going for an all you can eat big meal so we may not feel like doing rock and roller coaster but i've saved the fast pass just in case we can make it so plan is do an early dinner here we've got you know five something um and then head back park at the resort and then get the skyliner not the skyliner yes. over to um Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. Yeah, so we'll see what else is available if we can get any more when we know our timings. But just just goes to show that even through the day, that there's been fast passes for stuff. You've been able to chop things around, so don't be put off. No, at all. it's raining quite a bit now, so I'm worried that my Disney experience have the app. <laughs> Keep yeah, checking. a lot of people don't have the apps. We've seen people no. queuing up like at the booths and. Like we have heard on this trip, like people say. I overheard in Disney, what's a fast pass? What's my Disney experience? Yeah. yeah, like people have been turning up at the fast pass queue, like I've got fast pass on my ticket and the cast member said, no, you have to go and book it first. And they just didn't know. So we can't stress enough. I know that most of you people, most of you guys watching will know about fast pass, but yeah. there's so many people that don't. And it's like, it's a benefit that everyone has for free. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a little tip. Yes. So yeah, we're going to head now and hopefully not and get while too... while we're waiting in the little spitting rain, what's the temperature? 73, 73 degrees outside, so it's fairly warm for rain. We've got the skyliner coming across here. Um, it was about 80 degrees, wasn't it, when we came in earlier, about one inch. Yeah, it was it? lovely. It feels so nice. Yeah. Can't we even mention how much we're loving Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort as a resort. It's really stolen our hearts more than I thought it would. Do you feel the same? Especially being in Jamaica. We've been like, saying a lot of the Jamaica block is really convenient for like, the Skyliner. We've been so lucky with that. And there's a nice quiet pool. Yeah, so really happy. The only one negative so far is the Wi-Fi speed. So it's unusable in the room. So even doing Instagram, we're not like trying to upload anything big. We're just doing, like for example, I don't know if you guys have iCloud, see your photos at the end of the day, we'll up upload to iCloud to back everything up. That hasn't been able to function on the Wi-Fi. So I've been having to use 4G. Um, um, on that so it's raining oh dear I took the rain jackets out as well oh no but yeah Wi-Fi aside we spoke to the tech team and they just said that is the Wi-Fi speed they checked it all made sure it was fine it's working functional but that is what, what we're getting but I wouldn't let it put me off I think the pros will far outweigh Wi-Fi and I know most of you guys will come on holiday and won't be too worried about the Wi-Fi because you're on holiday but I like to just know that my pictures are safe and they've been uploaded but what I found is in the park a lot of the parks have really decent Wi-Fi so for find it I'm just getting getting connected and letting it upload there so backing everything up a few years ago i lost everything on my phone and since then i've had a bit of i think that's where it comes it's kind of makes me really yeah. worry about we went to new york and i lost all the pictures so you lose all the i know you've got the memories in your mind but like i lost all those pictures so now i'm a bit like paranoid about backing things up that's where it comes <laughs> from yeah yeah and we use google photos as well the google photos app is brilliant as well like icloud it's like a secondary backup so yeah um, but yeah, we're coming up Here to we go. We're coming up to Fort Wilderness. Yeah. Oh, there's a big queue to get in. Everyone's going for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Yay, it looks all festive. 
Right, left lane. Welcome to Fort Wilderness. So we're in, we show our ID to get in and we're gonna park over in this area here and then you get the internal bus. So Fort Wilderness is so big, it's got its own bus system um, to get you around the resort. We're gonna grab the bus over to Trails End. So let's try and find a parking space because it looks pretty bus going past. <laughs> Take that minute. Look at the festive buggies. How cool do they look? I so want to go and ride one of those. Get the bus to Settlement, which is where you've got Hoops Do Review, Trails End, and Pocket Sound. That's also where you get the boat. And so we're headed. Here comes the bus. Settlement Yellow. Settlement Yellow. bus ride about five six minutes yeah we are here we're having to vlog on the phone because the rain is a little bit too much for the poor little vlogging camera please protect it yeah <laughs> so here we've got at settlement pioneer hall with the hoop de do review which we still haven't done no one day we'll do it and we're heading down to trails end time for trails end we are here it's really very festive here it's all like a nice little cabin style Oh, it's a bit rainy, so we can't really wander around, can we? No, we have to stay on the normal camera now, now yeah. under right. the cover. So it's on the safe. Like, little wooden cabin here. So nice. All the way down. Around here. You've got Crockett's oh. tab in there. It's nice and drink. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Just checking out what's for dinner. So they've got like cheese pizza, ribs, fried chicken, chili, so much food. That's what we're going to say here. Thank you. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Festive is it in here? Very festive. Wow. Like, I'm gonna have to go show it, but it is so festive. Look at all the decorations. Salad. The potato salad is amazing here. Some cornbread, breadstick, and a little bit of pizza. Hoax in the mason jars. Really cool. It's rich with plate number one, and I knew there'd be some ribs on there. I couldn't resist. It had to be in plate number one. And it's like this is your this is your buffet basically. Ribs, salmon, chicken. Have you filmed yours? Yeah. Look at this. How are those ribs rich? They're really good, and you can get extra barbecue sauce as well. There's a big bowl of it, isn't there? A big bowl of barbecue sauce. It's quite hard to film up there, but I did my best on the phone. But we'll try again. But it's just delicious. Yeah, back up to the buffet together this time. Just <laughs> going up for more. Look how nice it looks in here. And try and film the buffet. Station here. All the yummy dessert. Red velvet. Wow. Those little cakes up there look good. Christmassy cakes. Turtle brownies. Wow, looks good. And you've got the also you've got more dessert here. It's a bit quiet. Bread pudding. Ice cream, they've got soups and crackers, clam chowder, salad, salads, fruits, and this is the stuff we want to get to. You've got pasta and mac and cheese, cowboy beans, tomato basil pasta, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, gravy. This is you can wait to get to this bit. Ribs, the ribs, salmon, salmon. 
pizza. The list the barbecue sauce. Going. What are they slicing there? Smoked beef brisket. Smoked beef brisket. And they've got, got some cornbread as well. And then they've got some breads and butter as well. Oh, it's time for plate two. <laughs> We've been a little bit instant with the butter, but we got and, uh, some out. I was trying my best to get the butter off. <laughs> and I've gone for a more veggie stuff. So from a non-meat perspective, there's the dessert. We've got the cute little Hershey's pie, a little red velvet cake, and then there's like a little strawberry tart here. Which looks really delicious. What have you got? A strawberry shortcake, red velvet cupcake, peppermint bar, and a random bit of and a random bit of caramel, uh, caramel sauce. sauce. <laughs> Finished our meal at Trails End. How Stop nice was that? Training. It's Stop so playing. nice, honestly. It's such good food. Yeah, so our server at Ocean was amazing. She was brilliant, wasn't she? Yeah, really nice lady. Two things. You're going to be really full. <laughs> it's the best value buffet, I believe, on site. So I think it worked out $38. Yeah, so we used our Tables in Wonderland card, which we've mentioned before in previous vlogs. But the Tables in Wonderland card is available to annual pass holders for $150. You then get 20% off food and beverage. And we, over this year, we've got our money's worth, haven't we? Absolutely, yeah, so it's still valid. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, massive thumbs up to the meal. Yeah, and uh, even though you get really full, it's trails end, so there's gonna be a little bit of walking on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> but we're heading over to the Settlement Trading Post shop now because this was quite a good store last time. Yes. I think I remember making purchases, so. We did make purchases last time, so maybe this time's gonna be the same. Let's go. One of the things that Fort Wilderness is known for is the Christmas decorations. So everyone who stays at Fort Wilderness, a lot of them decorate their cabins. And you can actually rent a golf buggy to go around the resort at Christmas and look at all the decorations, which I would love to do. And we just zoomed in on Olaf. There's golf buggies coming around with lights on and flashing Christmas lights. One's going to come past right now. I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, people just drive around looking at all the decorations in their little buggies. So fancy. <laughs> <laughs> love it. No, I know. I wanted to see if these shirts were How cute are these ice cream cups? Cool. I've not seen these before. I actually really like those. Ice cream cups. How much are they? They are. Let's, Luke's going to take a look at what these are. They're seventeen dollars ninety-nine. Oh, they're so sweet though. They're cute. I think we should get them. Oh snap! <laughs> Gingerbread man T-shirt. Luke's checking out the mugs. This is cool. Oh, Disney World. How much is this one? 19, uh, 1999. They've got all the attractions on there. I do like that, you know. All the parks. The bus situation is crazy tonight. So, to get from Trails End, you have to get the bus back. And people were kicking off because they'd been waiting 45 minutes for a bus. I didn't realise it had been that long. I know people were a little bit agitated, but... But Luke was like, it's been 45 minutes for them. We didn't wait 45 minutes, but this lady that was sh um, t shouting at the cast member was saying, we've been here 45 minutes, like, can you radio and find out where the bus is? There were a lot of young kids around as well, so I think everyone was a little bit tired. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so that was really not good, and there was a shortage of drivers, so we felt kind of stranded. We didn't have to wait too long, we maybe wait 15. Yeah, so it wasn't too bad for us, but it is in direct contrast to what we experienced the last time we came here, because the buses were more frequent then. Yeah. So we're glad we're back at the car park now. We've got our car. We're going to drive back to Caribbean Beach and then see if we're going to head to Hollywood Studios. Studios. We've made the commitment that we're not going to make that decision until we get back and we know how we feel. Yeah, if we feel too tired, we're just going to go. We're just going to call it a night. We've got yeah. to try and find the car now. Hey, everyone. Hello. So back in the room, we just came back after Trails End, but it started chucking it down. So we're not going to head into the park. We're going to go get a Joffrey's and then we're going to go to the lobby and just check a few things out there. To have a chilled evening. Chilled evening tonight. Yeah. yeah. We'll do Rock and Roller Coaster tomorrow. Okay, slight change of plan again. Yes, yeah, so we're heading to Hollywood Studios. We put the rain jacket on <laughs> and then the rain stopped. It's very humid, so the yeah. camera is steaming up in, despite us wiping it. I know. Um, so yeah. we're, we're checking with you soon. Heading back on the Skyliner off to Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Back on the phone or back on the iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's not steaming. Yeah, it's like 
getting a yellow one. No particular pattern on this one. The yellow one, but no pattern I don't think. Oh, okay. From the Skyliner. Yeah. We've got our own one. Here they are. Ladies, gentlemen, and islanders of all ages. Yay. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We've got our fast pass for Rock and Roller Coaster in about half an hour. So we're going to see what the situation is. Smuggler's Run has only got 45 minute wait, so it's slightly tempting. Did you know that the entire Walt Disney World Resort is over 40 square miles? You do. That's about the same size as the city of San Francisco. There and you go. double well, the island of Manhattan. Heard it here first. <laughs> There's no breeze in this one today. I'm not sure if someone shut the windows they just, or something. They've shut the vents. They do appear to have closed the windows and we can't figure out how to open them and it's quite warm in Before here. Before you walk the red carpet, remember that... Some We're back in Hollywood Studios, well nearly. We're through security, suddenly you feel like you're in the park. Look at this, it looks so good, all lit up at night. Heading back into Hollywood Studios. Let's go. We're back in, in the night, but this time at night. <laughs> and not ridiculously early in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. We're in Hollywood Studios. Luke's getting one of his favourite pictures ever at the entrance. Another stone. I know. Look at that. Look at that picture. So we have about half an hour till our fast pass. So we're going to head to Galaxy's Edge. Just have a look at night time. I think the water might make some really cool effects on the floor. Yeah, that's so a good point actually. Have a look. <laughs> Star Tours looks really cool it up at night, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, we're heading into Galaxy's Edge. Goosebumps time. This is always the moment that gives me goosebumps from walking in. Everyone's leaving, that's fine, it's fine with me. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they know something we don't. It looks so good in here. Yes. Now let's go on Rise of the Resistance. Rise of the Resistance. <laughs> oh, if only, if only. Oh, could you imagine? I know. That would be epic. Oh, it's so near yet so far. I'm going to pretend <laughs> I've got a fast pass and see if they let me on. <laughs> <laughs> it's wishful thinking. <laughs> and here's Ray. And Chewy. He looks more excited than I am right now. He's like racing ahead getting the pictures. I think Yeah, this is much quieter than when we were here the other day. So what we're saying is like there's no one because there's no one here, the pictures look so different. But I think with the crowds it does give a good impression though. Yeah. It gives a different feel. You've got to love all the details. So like you're just walking along and you can see like these pads here with all the lights. No idea where this leads to, but just the amazing level of detail. Yeah, oh, look at those roasting away. Delicious. This bit is really one of my favorite parts of walking into Galaxy's Edge. The moment you see the Millennium Falcon. What are you And you walk up to the balcony. Walk up to the balcony and get this amazing view across. Standby is only 40 minutes. Standby is 40 minutes, yep, so that's not too bad. There's also a single rider entrance as well. Absolutely stunning. Wow, just taking in the sights. And I've actually stood here and got a picture without anyone in it. Like now, you can just literally, there's no one here and you can just get a picture of everybody of it. If you're quick, you can snap a picture. If you're quick, you've got to be on the ball. But it's just stunning, it's just so amazing. Same before with all the lights on the doors, there's a lot going on. I've got no idea, but there's a lot going on in this land, so make sure there's a photo up here. That looks cool with the lightsabers. But just take a minute to just look up, look down, look all around. There's still new things we're seeing every time, even though we've been here a few times. Now. Yeah, that looks really cool at night. We didn't see this at night. No, 
how much do you want to walk down those steps right now and command everybody's attention? Well, the <laughs> yeah, just right there and walk onto the stage. Okay, we're walking through Toy Story Land to go to Rock and Roller Coaster. I'm so excited because Luke's been begging to get on this ride for so long. <laughs> we missed it in our September trip. It's starting to rain now. It is time for Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. Luke is so ready for this. I'm so excited for him to get back on this ride. It's slightly busy tonight. It's posting a 60 minute standby. We're going to use our fast pass. Please continue moving all the way forward, please. And although we're not a single file line, you're taking pictures of the stand climb or stage dive off the silver handrails. And continue to move all the way forward into the studio, filling the studio. You're supposed to be at a show. We're working now. I'd like to introduce our lovely manager. Yeah, she's usually oh, like not this. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, what? we can't leave these people here like this. <laughs> we can't? No. Come on, you know how we feel about our fans. Yeah, yeah that's no. right. Well, guys, what do you expect me to do? Is send them all with you? In fact, make it a super stretch. Greg. Excuse me. Okay, folks. Oh, the show is all about. Great ride on Rock and Roller Coaster. Yeah, you've got your so launch. Right? You've got your launch video. Yeah, we've got the photo, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to be cut off because my head was cut off in the preview. I'm so disappointed in that, but when, hopefully when it comes to on photo pass, you yeah. are there. We'll insert it in half full. head or a whole head. Um, we've decided now we're going to go to Galaxy's Edge and get on Smuggler's Run because the queue was posting 40, right. and we've heard that it generally is lower than that. Yeah. So we're just going to wait it out and do it. Why not? Okay, heading on Smuggler's Run now. Standby showing 55, but we're hoping it's going to be shorter than that. For those who don't know me, I am Hongo Onaka, and welcome to my completely legitimate shipping company, Onaka Transport Solutions. I am sorry I could not be there to welcome you in person. Okay, so we are Gunner. An engineer. An engineer. Gunner and engineer. So yeah, it's nice to do some different ones because you've only ever done five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we are Gunner and engineer. Yeah. Very important roles. We're just hanging out in the waiting area now. So once you're given your random positions, that's pilot, gunner, and engineer. Um, there's six people per pod. And we're blue, so you've got to wait for blue. blue. So you just wait for your colour to be called. But you can hang out and just explore the area. If I turn the camera around, you can see there's lots to see. You can even have a seat at the famous chessboard. Lou's going to have a sit down now. He's going to demonstrate. <laughs> Oh, it's so exciting, we're on the Millennium Falcon. Good luck to you all. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a complete faith in you, but I am coming along with you just in case. Seated and supervise young lady. Por favor, permanezca sentados. Move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly out. And push forward to fly down. Pilot, it's the Let's go get that coaxial. Right pilot, make the jump to light speed. Yes, keep shooting. Let's go to us. Shoot the cargo free. Let's pilot, great. Good work. Everybody hide the train. Gunners, shoot the train. Yes, keep 
need those controls. Oh yeah, so it's just like going front and for the buttons. And they've got 9565 yeah. buttons. So the, the key to it is everyone has to take half. So if, if one person's not pressing their buttons, then it does impact the whole journey. All available decks, we, we have a Corellian freighter we that needs to be transported back to the maintenance bay. So you need to all open the lights right up. Everyone's got to press the buttons. It needs to be camaraderie. Yeah, because you've got to kind of shout and say, come on guys, let's yeah. do this. Press so the the, the only thing is when there's a language barrier where we have people from different yeah. countries, they, they don't understand what's going on, so it can make it quite challenging. Yeah. So, but overall, it was a really good ride, really fun, and I love to be in the gunner. So we got through in about 45 minutes. It wasn't too bad. Not too bad. Yep. So, so we're going to now head to back to the Skyliner and hop back to our resort. You do kind of feel like your resort in the ho in the park. Yeah, you do. It's so convenient. And then tomorrow we're heading to Epcot, Epcot yeah. which is a 9 a.m. opening. So we kind of like bit of a lion, bit more of a lion. <laughs> yeah, but we are. We say this, we say this every day. We are chilling out. We're having lots of nap time, lots of rest. And yeah, it's nice. All right, so see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, and what a way to leave Hollywood Studios tonight with fireworks. So we've uh, swapped out our paper straws this evening for our reusable straws that we like to bring on holiday now. The drink just tastes so good because the, the only problem with the paper straws is they really do, in these frozen drinks, they like disintegrate really quickly. Yeah. And these plastic straws are perfect. You can wash them out. So these are perfect. So we'll just wash them out every day, yeah. It is so good. Vanilla latte, Joffrey's iced. <laughs> you happy, aren't you? But, <laughs> but it's my second one today. Second one today. today. Yeah. I drink coffee there. <laughs> so after another great Skyliner ride, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Fred. Epcot. Bye. Bye.